Now question number 13 is the integral part of this summation is now we can write 2 under root n it is less than under root n plus under root n plus 1 and it will be greater than under root n plus under root n minus 1. Now we will take reciprocal then we can write 1 upon 2 root n it is greater than 1 upon under root n plus 1 plus under root n will be less than 1 upon under root n plus under root n minus 1. Now we will multiply with its conjugate we can write under root n plus 1 minus under root n is less than 1 upon 2 root n and it is less than under root of n minus under root of n minus 1. Now we will put n is 2 we can write root 3 minus root 2 will be less than 1 upon 2 root 2 and here will be root 2 minus 1. Now we will put n is 3 we will get root 4 minus root 3 and it is less than 1 upon 2 root 3 is less than root 3 minus root 2 and we continue the series up to 9999 9, 9, 9. then we can write under root of 10,000 minus under root of 9999 9, 9, 9. it is less than under root of 9999 9, 9, 9, 9 minus under root of 9998. 9, 9, now if we add them all then in that case this root 3 root 4 it will cancel on the left hand side we will get under root of 1 0 0 0 0 minus root 2 is less than 1 by 2 this summation 1 upon root n when n varies from 2 to 999 9, 9, and it is less than now on the right hand side everything will cancel and it will be under root of 9999 9, 9, 9, 9, minus 1 now we will multiply it with 2 so we will get 2 and then this square root will be simply 100 minus root 2 is less than this summation will be 2 times under root of 9999 9, 9, 9, minus 1. Now 200 minus 2 root 2 is 197.17 something and then this summation 1 upon under root n and it will be less than and this is 197.99. So this value it lies between 197.172, 197.99. So greatest integral function of this summation 1 by square root of n, it will be 197 and that's your option number B.